Um, I'm seeing some regulars in here, including Art Raider and Vodka and Tonic, which is really awesome. Good to see you guys. Uh, so yeah, let's do this thing. Um, so a little context right now, I am in a Starbase. I recently um, just finished upgrading my hyperdrive or rebuilding it. Uh, so everything, so I'm ready to keep going on my space adventure. Here's my my little starfighter right here, um, the starter one. Been playing for a few hours now. Visited some strange new worlds, etc. So as you can see, this is um, a planet that is nearby. Um, I apparently haven't been on it yet. Um, I suppose I can go explore it if everybody is interested. Great, awesome. Um, Schmidtzam KK436. Apparently you can name planets. Um, not entirely sure how you're supposed to do this. Okay, okay, so there's the moon. And there's just the planet itself, but... Um, uh, maybe we should just keep going to wherever we're going next. Um, so we open our galactic map. And we're going to keep pushing toward the galactic core, wherever that might be. Um, apparently the galactic core is this way. So we're going to continue here um, to Appenzag. I'm not even going to pretend to try and pronounce that. But here we go. Warp time. I like this warp effect. It's really cool. Reminds me a little bit of Elite Dangerous. Hi, Seven Pains. Good to see you. Um, you have not missed much. Um, I was just having a little technical difficulties with the chat, but here we are, and we're ready to go. One thing that I like um, in this game versus, say, Elite Dangerous is that... Well, things go a lot more quickly, I think. Um, you can spend a long time just traveling in Elite Dangerous. Which is very similar to this, by the way. Alright, so here I am. And what's around here? We're asking ourselves. Alright, so let's do a little scan. Alien monolith detected. Well, that's interesting. Sounds positively monolithic. And it is over here. So, uh, let's go see what this alien monolith is. So the way that you travel in space is you have pretty fast and then you have really fast. Uh, so I'm gonna engage my pulse drive. And instead of like four hours, I'm gonna get there in like 30 seconds. Like I said, very elite dangerous, except the um, it, it, inner system travel is a lot faster in this game. And a lot more stuff is automated, um, for example, when you're docking with a starbase, which is really nice. You'll see in a second like what it's like to land on a planet. I think it's pretty cool. And here we are. And if you like bank in too far, you start getting, um, you start breaking up. So you gotta be kind of careful. Uh, Seven Pains, in response to your question, this is the PlayStation 4 version. Um, <laughs> you can see some pop-up here, but what are you going to do? Um, the fact that it's pretty seamless is really cool, in my mind. You can see the stuff on the ground, like yellow resources and that kind of thing. Something to keep in mind when you go exploring. 
<laughs> sure, Yaddle. More note, Joe Dangerous. Ooh, see? There's that interesting thing right there. A little outpost or something. Outposts, plural. Uh, I'm gonna say it's not, you know, like the most amazing game I've seen ever in my life, but given the scope of this game, I, I'm willing to cut it a little slack. All right, and here we are. And we're initiating landing. And here we are, a random monolith. So, like, right at the beginning of the game, I was asked if I wanted to follow the, the atlas. Um, and apparently the atlas is basically like 2001 A Space Odyssey. All right, so we have some plutonium here. I'm going to mine that with my fancy laser. This is like very much a Star Trek planet. Ooh, I wonder what that is. I have a jetpack. Uh, you have to be kind of careful though. If you jump too high, you will die. Ooh, gold. I can use some gold. Okay, so inventory management is kind of a thing in this game. Um, your exosuit can only hold so much stuff, so you kind of have to continually be um, transferring stuff over to your ship. And... Which is a little bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie, but... Not so much so that it is a complete deal breaker for me. In the meantime, I want gold. Um, I'm not too worried about my life support because I, even if I do run out a bit, I um, it's I, I won't die immediately. Thankfully, I'll just lose a little bit of health. It's pretty forgiving in that respect. <laughs> When I was walking over the plains or whatever, I had a moment where I ran out of life support and I was like, I was sure that I was going to die and then I looked up and I was like, oh, I'm not dead. Sweet. Um, so yeah, life support. The, the way you can do it is that you can just charge it with, well, I like to charge it with plutonium because plutonium is pretty plentiful. See. Mm, gold. All right, that's enough gold. So let's go check out this monolith. All right. Yeah, the the low key soundtrack is really cool. I really like it. Oh, uh, Strawberry Jams is wondering about the temperature in the corner. Um, on some planets, have extreme temperatures. And so your temperature shielding will like steadily decline and you have to go up to plants and they will warm you or something. Come closer, hear our words. Press square to commune with monolith. All right, I will come on commune with this thing. Let us commune. Let's be communists. The monolith stands silent on the planet's surface. It does not belong here, neither do I. There is a shimmer, and then the vision of the red orb returns, the atlas. It speaks to me again. Again, I feel the half elation, half terror that I've met my creator. The atlas offers me guidance, purpose, meaning, significance in an uncaring galaxy. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I see lines of code, strings of numbers, then a bizarre structure. I feel sure conviction that great power awaits me if I travel to this distant place. The red orb appears, and I am left with a path to follow. Yay. Ooh, I got a warp cell. That's good. Uh, somebody was asking what the 14% means. Um, your The battery charge on your mining laser will steadily deplete, and you have to go and refill it. So um, it, it's actually pretty easy. Um, you scroll over to your multi-tool right here. You go over to your mining beam. You go to charge, um, and you can just use a power canister. And I am back up to 51%. Um, the exo tool is like pretty important, or the multi-tool, I should say. 
Uh, it doubles as your weapon as well as various other things. You can see these slots that will allow you to install stuff like the bolt caster, which is um, more of a, a rapid fire gun instead of a sustained beam. I prefer the sustained beam myself. Um, there are some upgrades, faster mining beam, quicker extraction. Um, this is a bolt, bolt caster. You have this like um, analysis visor beam intensifiers, that kind of thing. I upgraded mine a little while ago. Ooh, knowledge stone. Ooh, cool. So yeah, you run into alien species in this game and the alien species speak different languages. And so you have to, um, so it helps to go and learn some languages. <laughs> you learn some Viking words from Viking, great. Yep, totally cho joined a cult. Viking word for ancients. Viking are kind of this warrior race. Ooh, nickel. I don't have any of that. The Atlas, Ascend to the Stars. Well, that sounds ominous. Can I, can I go and get nickel first? Is that okay? I, I don't have any nickel. I know that there are people who are going to be like uber thorough with this, but I'm not. I'm actually a really impatient person, so... Oh, is that plutonium up there? So this is what this game does to you. It's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh look, that's interesting. Alright. So apparently there's a thing over here. Um, and it's about a minute away on foot. So I'm actually probably going to go over there because um, it actually costs resources to use your jump jet. Um, every time you take off, you spend some fuel, so I'd rather not waste fuel if possible. Get a little more gold. What is this thing? Ooh, carbon. I already got a lot of carbon though. Oh, is that a monster? Oh. Yeah. These are, um, waypoints. And I'm not entirely sure what the waypoints do. They kind of let you claim a planet, I guess? I don't know. Or say that you've been here. <laughs> so far, um, I've been pretty happy with... Well, it's reasonably uh, focused. And it's I never feel like I'm just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Kind of like I did in Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous was a lot of wandering around aimlessly. This one seems to have a bit more of a story to it, which I'm grateful for. I like to lead Dangerous a lot in the uh, in the initial initially, but it was just a little too unfocused. I don't know what those are. So I got into combat earlier. Um, hopefully, we can get into a little bit of combat later. Um, in combat, I'm a little bit on the fence about, just because I, I fought some, like, little sentinels and stuff, and it felt like I was auto-aiming, and it looked kind of clumsy, and so I was like, Ooh, okay, um, by the way, I'm heading to this waypoint because you can get, um, you can get lots of resources from it. Yeah, yeah. Gonna fill up my life support again. Some plutonium. <laughs> Plutonium is the fix-all in this one. 
Uh, let's see, iron. Got a fair amount of iron, though. You do need, you do need iron. Um, more inventory management. Uh, Oh, good. Oh, goody good. Alright. So, apparently my life's... My inventory is already full. Um. In which case, you have to go and start selling stuff. So yeah, here's a waypoint. The Hulutus Badlands, which I discovered. There's usually ooh, titanium, okay. I could use some titanium, I guess. Power canister, fine. Plutonium, okay. Hmm. Can I destroy it? Oh. I might have to use the bolt caster. And I already have some titanium, so maybe not worth it? Not sure. How far away am I from there? Two minutes? Um, why don't we head back to our ship and continue to our next destination? Maybe there's some like sweet action or something. This is a pretty barren, pretty barren planet, all things considered. The resource emblems look like old top trading cards. I suppose so. Um, regarding the the variety of the terrain, um, I would say that it's, I mean, stuff like this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I haven't exactly, it's not exactly like, you know, Mass Effect 1, where you would land on a planet and they would all kind of look the same. But planets aren't that buried, I'm not gonna lie. But that's what happens with procedural generation, unfortunately. <laughs> kind of wish you could run. <laughs> oh, I accidentally used my last uh, grenade. Good job, cat. Good job indeed. I was trying to figure out if I could run. Oh. I can do that. Cool. Oh, I am running! Hooray! I have to press the right stick. Alright. Back to my ship. Which is sitting right here. Apparently I can only sprint for... a little bit. Alright, back to the stars. This is really cool. And we're in space. I like how seamless it is. Your destiny lies in the beyond. Okay. There's also the space station. Hmm. Should probably go and sell some stuff. So I think I'm gonna really quickly go to the space station. Whoa!
Yeah, the pop-in is a little distracting, not gonna lie. Here we go back into the space station. So yeah, so far No Man's Sky is a lot of this, which is fine, I think. Um, uh, Mike and I were talking about it earlier today, and he was saying that it was basically Starbound, um, which seems, which seems about right. Um, very much in that Minecrafty collect and survive kind of mold. Collect, survive, sell stuff, go to space stations, trade. So I got a lot of nickel, so I got a lot of gold, which I can sell. I'm actually kind of tempted to sell all of it, just so I can free up some space in my neutral element prize trading asset. Alright, I think I'm going to sell this. Um. So the green seem to be kind of more um, commodities that you can sell, like aluminum, and will in turn give you money and free up space. And the other elements are more like stuff that you actually need for crafting, like um. Iron, for example. Iron you use quite a lot. Okay. Oh, hello guy. Prefect Uix. The warrior is silent for a second. People are looking at me conspiratorially. Looks behind to check for his colleagues before powering down security systems. The warrior pulls open the trade vault at his feet, which seems to be piled high with multi tool upgrades. It indicates the contents of my inventory as a trade. Ah, hmm. The shifty light form nods. A deal is done. I receive something to help my journey from the pile of contraband. Oh, phase beam. Yeah, cool. Space bearing beam weapon and asteroid mining tool. The user is advised that isotope elements are required to charge the device. Cool. So now I can go and craft this thing. Let's see what that thing does. And then head back into space. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, Vodka, I was thinking that too. It does kind of remind me of Rebel Galaxy, which um, is a PS4, uh, like a PSN and Steam download, maybe on Rebel Galaxy as well. That game is a third wor third person game. A lot, a lot more combat oriented. Um, a lot more story driven at the outset. Spaceship. I'm kind of curious what this photon, this press X to activate, press X to act. It's fully charged. Mm. Anyway. Anomaly detected. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so where is the anomaly? So yeah, your ultimate goal is to get to the core. Not entirely sure. So where's the, oh, there's the anomaly. How do I get to the anomaly though? Is question. Can I, is this a star map? Can I get to this? Hyperdrive has no fuel. Okay. Anyhow. First thing I need to do is refill my hyperdrive with a warp cell. <sighs> Repair and analysis visor, analyze objects, upload discoveries. Yeah, I suppose I should do that, shouldn't I? Okay. 
Can I get all the way up here? Okay. Interface can be a little clumsy in this game. Here we go. Let's go. something something I guess I have to repair my analysis visor should be in my multi-tool okay I did that analyze objects I guess I need to analyze objects okay abandoned building detected good to know There's also a starship. I'm gonna need to go and I need to craft more antimatter so that I can travel. And I need electron vapor and I need suspension fluid. And I can get suspension fluid at the space station. This is, uh, I, I would define this game as very chill. <laughs> Very, um, what's the word? Obsessive compulsive? It's the kind of game you just kind of sit around and you're like, oh, I'm gonna collect this, I'm gonna collect that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. Kind of a traversal game. Technology successfully installed. Uh, cool. So yeah, this is my analyzer. I guess I need to go down to a planet and do that. <laughs> but first thing I'm gonna do is get the stuff that I need to travel through warp. Oh hello, you're different. Let's see. Um, he's kind of a creature. Viking ancients, eh? A red jake and, and recent bike mark is wrapped around the entirety of the warrior's neck. Claw marks have been dragged through its chest, and its suit restoration and healing systems are blinking offline. The life form barks contentedly, satisfied with its narrow victory. It's clear, however, that its injuries are severe, and it has trouble breathing. I guess I could share some oxygen. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so nice. Oh, it gave me money. That's nice of it. Okay, my standing with the Viking has increased. Um, and let's see, I need to buy the suspension fluid. Which is actually quite expensive. Wow. Quite a bit more expensive. Than the galactic average, actually. But I had enough, thankfully. Um, and then I craft electron vapor and antimatter and warp cell. And now I can leave if I want. But first, I'm gonna go down to that abandoned building. Because there's probably stuff there that's of interest to me. And so it goes. It, a lot of people were saying that they like super dig the con the soundtrack. Yeah, I, I like it too. Um, it's not overwhelming, but it's not boring. Oh yeah, your character can't jump very high. Don't ask me why. Building is over here. Watch out for rocks just randomly popping out out of nowhere. And down to the planet we go. Look at all that pop in. See if we can find any life forms to track as well. Oh, this one's icy. Seen a lot of creatures actually. I have a waypoint and iron. abandoned building. Why is that stuff in the sky? That's kind of weird. And, okay. Waypoint. Stuff to sell? No? No, no things to sell? Hmm. I 
I find it interesting that you can see ships flying around, but I guess they're just traitors. And yet, you feel so alone. It's a very lonely game. Which I'm guessing was the intent. Ugh. What the hell is this? It looks like a wound in the world. Crimson and ragged edges like something that once lived but was then torn asunder. I should have stayed away. Had I the sense to test the air of the planet, I imagine I would have reeked with some kind of alien feeder. But nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where I touched it, the surface was moist and unyielding. It seemed to become motile then, crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. I discovered something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. A coolant network. Increased protection from extreme heat damage. That's cool. Gross. Can I interact with this? No. More technology. Photon cannon cooldowns are significantly reduced. know what an atlas pass is but apparently I need it a lot oh read encyclopedia sweet I've learned it the word for warrior that means it's like every other word for them oh I wonder if I can analyze it does it count as a creature to analyze No? Not a creature to analyze? Pfft, lame. So let's see what we got. Ooh, zinc. Gather, gather. Some people really like gathering stuff. I have personally never been a big gatherer. I tend to find gathering a little tedious myself. But for the most part I find this to be okay. Like that there are platinum flowers. Oh, is that a monolith? Oh, it's one of those language thingies. Knowledge stone. Oh, there's a creature. Yeah, creature. I learned eight words today. I'm so smart. What is that? Miorpe Forless. And I guess I can rename and upload. What should we rename it? It's 
It's like a monkey bird. Let us call it a rare parish. After my gentle boss. Okay, so I guess I'm uploading it now. Do I just need to keep finding them? Oh, it's a little baby one. I think. Let's see, that's about two minutes away. <sighs> Extreme night temperature detected. Um, Vodka was asking was mentioning that base building was will apparently be a will apparently be a feature later on down the road um i'm guessing that sean confirmed that in the stream um personally i would be pretty happy to have base building because that is something that i am really into in games um see my crazy settlements in fallout 4 um and not only that but it's probably just going to be nice to have a lot of places to rest and relax with that said um ooh. Traveling isn't always the easiest thing in the world in this game. Really? Starship out of range? Out of range? I didn't know it could be out of range. Let's try again. There we go. Wow, literally that close. No, I don't need carbon. I thought that was aluminum. Give me my aluminum. Platinum. Oh, so much platinum. <coughs> but yeah, as I was saying, traveling in this game it's not as time consuming as Elite Dangerous, but it feels like you can end up getting pretty far away from your base. I don't know if there's as much just chilling out and gathering as um, in, uh, in a particular area. So. Oh, is that a treasure? Why is there a chest? Ah, oh, there we go. Sweet. Money. I need the monies if I'm going to keep exploring. Mm, this is getting spooky, isn't it? It's a minute away. Starship is two minutes away. I got a little bit of money. So maybe maybe now is a good time to head back. More platinum. Yeah, so much platinum.
No spots in my inventory. I thought they increased the amount of inventory space in this game. Guess not. Guess not enough. I, I have to say, I'm not a fan of inventory uh, juggling. I've, it's always struck me as a bit of a waste of time, especially in a gathering game. <laughs> Like this one. It's just kind of like make work, you know? There's so much else that I would be rather be doing. More aluminum? Yeah. Give me all that aluminum. Give me all that aluminum. I knew this is this is why I showed up here. It's for stuff like this. No, oh, really. What is an Atlas Pass? Is it what I need to buy Persona 5? Ooh. That beat is worth a lot of money. Luckily you can merge items, but you can only hold so many items at any one time. So let's see. You can transfer some Thamian. Ah, inventory juggling, I tells ya. Alright, well that's a little more space at least. Gek charm, alright. More money. Money, money, money. Fill. That symbol's usually pretty po yes. That's how you can get your exosuit recharged. Okay, I think it's time to go back to my ship. I think I have enough now. How much do I think this game will sell? I'll be conservative and say uh, two million. <laughs> the old man was wondering if was mentioning that I was sighing a lot. I suppose I was sighing a lot because I mean that's kind of a pretty sight. Like I said. Uh, just collecting stuff is not my favorite thing in the universe. By the way, I'm wandering over to this waypoint really quickly. Ow. 
Not close enough. But it's only 30 seconds away. I don't know what way points are good for, but I, they seem kind of worthwhile. I don't know. Person gets tired quick, probably because they're wearing a stamina suit. Plutonium, plutonium. Yeah, yeah, plutonium. People were commenting as to what exactly you do in this game. Um, so far, it's collect stuff and uh, get enough fuel to keep going to your next destination. Um, I don't know what an Atlas Pass is still. Meet strange new aliens. Figure out what the monoliths mean. Build up your ship. I mean, it's not like... It's not like I'm wanting for things to do. Like, I'm not just wandering around aimlessly. I, I do have a purpose. I'm heading toward that monolith thing. There's not a lot of action in this game. I think is the thing. Um, I've only had... I've only fought, like, aliens once so far, and I've been playing for a few hours at this point. Um, which is fine. Oh, that's an it. That's a creature. Also, you, like, I guess catalog things like that. I apparently already discovered this. Oh, what is that? And you go, what is this? What is that? That's kind of interesting. Signal scanner. I don't want to use my bypass chip. I only have one. And you basically collect enough stuff to keep um to keep your ship to keep your ship going. Seriously? I just I just refilled it. I thought it was up to a hundred percent. There. To the stars. Actually vodka, it's Nadia who's gonna be doing this one. Bowls. I think that's a, a reasonable feeling. Um, but I think it's a lot more directed than... Um, I think it's a lot more directed than, say, Elite Dangerous, where I would spend... where I did spend quite a few hours playing it and then wondering what the heck I was doing with my time. In this game, at least, I sort of feel like I have a purpose, which is what the heck is at the, you know, at the core of the galaxy or whatever. There, there is a bit more of a story, it seems like, so there is that at least. Trading post detected. Is it trading post? How did I miss the trading post? This trading post is over there. Do I want to go to the trading post? I've never been to a trading post before. I've been to a star base. Let's go see what this tr the trading post is all about. Oh, is it on the planet? Okay.
Oops, coming in a little too steep. Don't want to burn up. People are always like, I want to explore strange new worlds. And that's kind of what you're doing. You're exploring strange new worlds and seeking out new life and cataloging it. But what most people really mean is they want to kill stuff. And they want guidance. They want direction. They want a really intense story. That's what people actually want out of video games. Though I suppose Minecraft is still one of the most successful games ever, so... Okay, cool. What is this? This is a trading post? Was I supposed to land on the platform? Oh man, what is this thing? Whoa. Enemy Slayer Lep? I guess he's still a Viking. The downbeat life form is studying the image of another young warrior on his path. The pictured warrior looks virile and impressive. It is facial tendrils that are outstretched. It appears rich and of good breeding stock. The look in its eyes is sultry. The life form looks to me with its questioning eyes. It clearly needs someone to talk through with this. Um, except on the life form's behalf? Sure. I receive generous gifts and a candid image of the life form I will one day wed. <laughs> That's amazing. And terrifying. Yeah, I should sell some stuff. Sell, sell, sell. Like, I should sell some aluminium and that and that and I think we're good. That alien totally wanted relationship advice and now we're like married or something. Now we're gonna leave. Wait, 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 wait. That was an alien. Oh, is that a parish? Nope, that is not a wild parish. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that thing. Oh, it's so frolicky. Look how it frolics. I will call this a wild Nadia because it frolics and is fun. Sweet. So we got a parish and an audio. And you can like feed it and make it happy? And now it likes me? Frolic. Let us frolic together. Okay, that was fun. Hmm. 
I don't think there is any multiplayer lamenays. In fact, that's like one of the things that a lot of people are talking about with this game. I, there are online features, which is a little different. Primarily single player game though. Commodities. See, what the heck are those things? Transmission tower? Local distress signal. Oh. Oh, sweet. Go! Oh, hostile ships! I actually get to fight stuff! Let's do it! These are like space pirates or something. So can I lock on? lock on. Are they like shooting at one another? No. There's an enemy ship or something. Oh, got it. I'd like to know how to use my photon laser or something. Oh, ah! That was totally telling me how to recharge my deflector. Ah, critical damage! Did I get it? I think. Did the other one bug out? No. There it is.
No. Oh, wow. Wow. We not only died, we died, died. Well then, okay. So we straight crashed. Well, on that note, maybe good time to stop now. But um, yeah, thanks for dropping me dropping by. Um, I'm glad that we could get a little. I'm glad that we could get a little dog fighting in, um, despite the fact that it didn't go super well. I, I would love to figure out how to use my stupid mine laser. Return to death location to grab inventory. Oh God! It's like I have a phase beam. And a photon cannon. But it, I wasn't sure if I could use it both. Anyway, apparently I gotta go get my stuff. But yeah, thanks for dropping by. Um, I will be back tomorrow to stream some more. Um, I'll be back relatively early. Um, I think I'm shooting for about 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, that would be 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm gonna play some more uh, No Man's Sky. Maybe we can go find that um, monolith. Maybe we we'll keep trekking deeper into the core. Maybe we'll get a new ship. Um, but in any case, thanks for dropping by. And I've been Cat Bailey, and I will see you again real soon.